Every year, the China Cup International Regatta attracts sailors from around the world for four days of intense, friendly competition. The Royal Hong Kong Yacht Club, framed against the spectacular backdrop of Hong Kong skyscrapers, it's enough to get every visitor's pulse racing. Sailors are busy making last-minute preparations to their yachts before the sun goes down. In the evening, the skipper's briefing is packed as the 138 skippers gather to find out what's in store for the coming four days of competition. And then it's party time around the swimming pool at the Yacht Club. Maybe later there'll be time for a trip into the bright lights of the big city. In the morning, navigators plot their course for China while the crew hoist sails and get ready for the start of the long race. The winds are extremely light on the race to Shenzhen and it's a game of smooth sailing and picking the correct way through the gaps in the wind. The sailors need to keep their nerve in the light airs, keeping an eye out for the best breeze on the patchy race course. Through the water, Frank Pong's 75 footer Jellic is the fastest, but there are holes in the wind that even Jellic can't overcome. In the end, it's Anthony Root's 42 footer Black Bazaar who outsmarts some of the bigger boats to cross the finish line first and take line honours in the coastal race. Uh, this is actually my second China Cup. I did one about uh, three years ago, and yeah, it's good to be back. It's a pretty different week this time. Uh, last time I was on, on a Beneto, and this time, yeah, racing the bigger boat. Yeah, good fun, but pretty hard racing. With the team safely arrived in China, it's time for the opening ceremony at the Sheraton Hotel in Dame Sha. An aerial tour of Dia Bay reveals just why sailors love coming back here year after year. The scenery is breathtaking. It's a beautiful battleground for some tight tactical racing for the 138 teams from around the world. But unfortunately there's no wind on day two of the competition, although there's plenty of fun to be had on shore in the race village. China Cup this year has been pretty tough. Um, I guess it started with the long race up here. Um, we were 200 metres from the finish line and we ran out of time. So, uh, I guess it was probably not what we expected. We were expecting to do pretty well in that race. We did a good job, I think. Um, we're just a bit unlucky that we ran out of time. The theme of this year's China Cup is about sailing with the family, celebrating the sports-wide appeal to people of all ages. Following that theme is the Sailing Spirit Grand Ceremony Night in Ritual, which takes place at a lavish ceremony midway through the regatta. Sailing goes from strength to strength every year at the China Cup as more and more discover and enjoy the benefits of a team sport that welcomes all ages, shapes and sizes. The wind is up for day three of the competition which makes the racing a much more physical challenge. The big wind and waves of day three provided plenty of drama and excitement across the ten racing divisions. When Daya Bay comes alive with the wind and the waves, the competition is hard, fast and exhilarating.
参加这是第六次中国杯，然后第三次的参加博纳多四十点七统一组，然后我嗯希望今年能取得奖牌吧。There's plenty to talk about when sailors get ashore, and at the evening prize giving for catching up on war stories from the big day on Dia Bay. The final day's competition is crucial for seeing who emerges on top. On board ambush, the crew work hard to nail their manoeuvres and keep the boat moving in the light airs. There's plenty of place changing in the soft breezes, but one boat that is just too strong is Wan Hang Long Cheer, which dominates the 40.7 feet. Steve McConaughey is the winning skipper. Yeah, I've loved the China Cup. I've come back uh, most years. Uh, yeah, we've only missed two, so I've done uh, yeah, eight now out of ten. And uh, yeah, we've had some great success, and I'll keep coming back. At the final prize giving there are celebrations for junior competitors who maybe one day will be the winners at senior level in the China Cup. Prizes and applause go to the winners in all 10 racing divisions. It's a big, loud, joyous night of celebrations. It's a spectacular conclusion to the 2016 regatta and already sailors from around the world are planning their return in October 2017 the 11th edition of the China Cup International Regatta.